In business and in life, it is really, really important for you to keep your commitments. Made a post a couple weeks ago about getting canceled pretty consistently uh, as far as meetings go from a bunch of people that I've been talking to, not only on our team, but other people that are not only in digital marketing, but all of our contracting clients as well. They're seeing a ton of people just cancel. Cancel same day, no call, no shows. If you can't commit to stuff with other people, it probably is most likely that you're not committing stuff for yourself either. And in order to be successful in life, you have to keep your commitments. And if you don't have, if you can't keep your word, then there's probably a lot of things that are failing in your life. And I understand things come up. I've had to cancel appointments with people before. I've never no called, no showed. I can guarantee you that unless something drastically was missed on my calendar. But even then, I don't do it. Time and time again, people are waiting until the last minute or they're no calling and no showing and they just think it's acceptable. And I know that in today's society, we're seeing it pretty consistently because it's been a big topic on social media. I want to challenge you to make sure that you are actually keeping your word. And if you can't keep your word, then you should never agree or commit to something before it. And I understand there's things where if you commit to something and you realize it doesn't align or it doesn't make sense, that's totally fine. But a lot of times what I'm talking about, the instance that I gave was somebody literally reached out to me, asked me for some advice. They said that they were struggling in a certain area of their life and they've been following me on social media for a while. They've been supporting me, commenting on my stuff and just engaging. So I wanted to give back. I had nothing to sell this person. Can't even actually sell the services to this person because they're not a client. They're not even a business, right? That can actually do something. They work for somebody else and they confirmed the meeting the same day. Then they no called, no showed. And they ended up messaging me a couple days later and saying, hey, sorry, something came up. You basically just told me that I wasn't important and that you were okay wasting my time. It's terrible, but it's happening out there. So I want to make sure that as many people as possible are, are understanding the importance that if you commit to something, if you give somebody your word, it clearly doesn't mean as much as it used to. So change that, right? As a society, we have to change the way we are committing to things. And I understand things happen. It's the one-off situations. This is a widespread thing. Today, as I'm making this video, I had three different people cancel on me. Two of which the people reached out to me, one of which was a potential client that we could work with. And I made a post about, hey, this is, this is, this is happening, right? And I'm hearing from other people. They're doing it to team members of mine as well. And people started to say, well, you need to fix your sales approach. You probably just didn't do enough value. No, I'm telling you consistently that most of the stuff, most of the cancellations or the no-shows same day, at least in my situation, are people that are literally asking for my help or we're connecting and trying to help one another. I don't have anything to sell. It's not just a sales problem. It's a widespread problem that's going on in today's society. So I challenge you to keep your commitment. I challenge you to keep your word. And if you're struggling with doing that, then you need to do some inner work to figure out how you can make sure you're in a position to keep your word because your word is a lot of times all you have. And if you do that consistently enough, you're going to get a bad reputation. It's going to take off and people are going to know you as the person that's really flaky, that likely cancels, that you can't trust. No one wants to be known for that. Hope this video was helpful today. Again, not a fun topic to talk about, but something that I'm seeing happening really consistently right now in society. Would love to hear your thoughts, comments, feedback, things like that. Thank you very much for watching today's video, and we'll see you next time.